y'all, I'm Jackie from Chronically Jackie, and this is another video in my diagnosis discussion series. Due to my genetic mutations, I have several chronic illnesses, and in this video, I'm going to further discuss those genetic mutations. But before we continue, please keep in mind that everyone is different, and I'm sharing my personal experiences, which may vary from yours or someone you know. Also, be sure to check out the description for the other videos in my diagnosis discussion series and helpful links. So I'm often asked, why am I chronically ill? Where did all of this come from? And to be honest, there's not always an explanation for that because our bodies and health can be extremely complex. But this is what my medical team has discovered. Through extensive genetic testing done at Mayo Clinic, and then furthermore done with a geneticist at Shands, which is the hospital system for the University of Florida, we found some genetic mutations, the main ones being mitochondrial disease and a gene prep mutation. Not much is known about the gene prep mutation except for the fact that it impacts the systems I have issues with, neurologic, gastric, and immunologic. For the mitochondrial disease, or mito, I need to give y'all a little background. So mitochondria are found in every cell of your body and they're nicknamed the powerhouse of the cell because they're responsible for energy production. And when there's an issue with the mitochondria, it can affect every organ and every system in your body. Most mitomutations are heterozygous, meaning some are affected, but mine is homozygous, meaning all of my mitochondria are affected by the mutation. And at the time of diagnosis, I was only the second person in the world to have this specific mutation. So not a whole lot is known about it, but my medical team believes it's the root cause for many of my illnesses. With genetic-based issues, I'm often asked two questions. Why am I the only one in my family with these particular health challenges? And why didn't I have complications since birth? Well, I did have certain symptoms since childhood, but not quite enough for a diagnosis. It wasn't until around age 15 when I hit puberty that my symptoms really began to be problematic. My doctors believe that puberty was the driving factor that sent my health into overdrive. And from there, I began receiving diagnoses and really began my journey with chronic illness. As for my family, my team has explained that my parents could be carriers and symptoms present actively with me, or what's more likely is that the genetic mutations began with myself. So my symptoms derive from my genetic mutations, and my symptoms happen to fit the diagnostic criteria for my chronic illnesses. It's important for me to get my diagnoses so we can form pinpointed treatment plans to improve my quality of life, especially since there is currently no cure for my genetic mutations. While we're on the topic of why am I chronically ill, I'd like to point out the difference between a chronic illness and a disability. A chronic illness is a long-lasting medical condition, and a disability is any medical condition that substantially limits one's ability to perform activities of daily living, such as breathing, eating, walking, caring for oneself, and so on. Any chronic illness can be considered a disability if it substantially limits that person's ability to perform those activities of daily living. Some of my chronic illnesses disable me, and some do not. But don't worry, I still live a very happy life, and despite my challenges, I find ways to keep moving forward. I hope this video on my genetic mutations was helpful, and thank you so much for joining in on my diagnosis discussion series.